Hey guys, it's Beth. Today I'll be using this wooden tree cutout, ornament, and chopping mat from Dollar Tree, as well as some cardboard. I took the cardboard and made two strips that are two inches wide. I just used my square to get my spacing right in my straight line and used a razor blade to cut them. Next, what I'll be doing is hot gluing the cardboard around the entire edge of the tree. I take sections at a time, place down hot glue, and then add down the cardboard and get it shaped to the tree. I do sections at a time, folding it as I go, and just gluing it down into place until the entire thing is outlined with that cardboard. I started the cardboard at the very top and I'm ending it at the very top, leaving a little space because I'll be adding in some light, so I need to make sure that is still open on the top. Next, I take Moss Color Chalk Paint by Waverly and coat the back of the tree and the sides of that cardboard. And I didn't like how you could see the gaps from where I added the cardboard in, so I took some wood filler, just went around with my finger and applied it all the way around and smoothed it out. You don't have to do this step. I just didn't like how it looked, so it's just personal preference. So I just filled that all in and let that dry also applied one coat of the chalk paint on the inside in front of the tree. It will be covered, but I'm not sure if you'll see it. After about half an hour of letting the wood filler dry, I gave it a very light sanding and then touched that up with the chalk paint. I then took the chopping mat, which is from Dollar Tree, and I'll be using tacky glue to apply that. I just placed it down all around the edge of the cardboard and just dabbed it down and spread it out with a sponge, placed down the chopping mat and tried to dry it some with my heating tool, but you will need to let that sit for a little bit so it's completely dry before cutting the excess of the chopping mat off. I cut most of it with regular scissors and then just use my detailing scissors to get the remainder. It just gets closer and they're easier to use. Next, I take holographic glitter, which I get from Hobby Lobby, I believe, and brush that on the front of the chopping mat, covering it completely. I then take Snow Tex and a small paintbrush and just apply that all around the edge of the entire tree. Next, I'm taking gel stain in the color walnut and applying it to this three by five plaque that I got from Hobby Lobby. I just brushed it on with a sponge brush and next I'm taking these fairy lights I get from Amazon and I just put a pencil in between those two pieces of cardboard to keep it open and then push down the entire strand of lights. And then I take whatever wire is left and wrap it around the battery pack and then hot glue that to the back of the tree. Just making sure that the screws on the battery pack are facing outward in case they need to be replaced. Next, I take this star ornament from Dollar Tree, cut off the little loops on the two pieces. I use Fisker shears to do that. Then I'm also cutting out one section of the star so it can sit on top of the tree. Just keep using the Fisker shears to trim that until I had it how I liked it. 
added some hot glue, and then placed that down. Then the last thing I do is put some hot glue on the bottom of the tree and add that to my plaque. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching.